Here is exactly what happens the moment the last human vanishes. So the first thing isn't the silence, it's the water. See, cities like New York or London are basically fighting a 24-7 war against groundwater. Without humans manning the massive sump pumps, nature starts winning immediately. Within 36 hours, the subway tunnels fill up completely, turning the underground rail system into a stagnant subterranean river. But uh, here's the kicker. The real fireworks start about a week later. We have over 400 nuclear power plants. When the grid fails, the backup diesel generators run out of fuel. The cooling water in the spent fuel pools boils off, literally turning into steam. Once that water is gone, the zirconium cladding on the fuel rods overheats and ignites, sending radioactive smoke drifting across the continents. Here's the reality anchor. We actually know what this looks like because of the Chernobyl exclusion zone. In just over 30 years, the forest didn't die. It physically ate the city of Pripyat. Roots punched through the concrete, shattering foundations. And now, Przewalski horses and wolves are running wild in what used to be a frantic city center. So, Earth would heal, but it would take about 100,000 years to scrub out the extra CO2 we left behind. The only thing that would really last forever? That plastic bottle you threw away in 2004.